guys today we are in Pigeon Forge Tennessee here on the mountain mile and directly behind us is the listening room cafe this place started in Nashville it's still there and about a year or so ago they put this one in here in Pigeon Forge and we saw they had a sandwich in here that was featured in Country Weekly magazine so we had to come in there and try that so when we looked it up on YouTube we saw that Joshi and Stacy also did a review here and they ordered the same thing we are going to. So go check out their video on this place. So you'll get two opinions of these items because they have a bologna sandwich in there. You know I got to get that because up in Amish country, it's one of my favorite things. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. So the listening room cafe has a lot of outside seating. If you want to come out here on a nice, sunny, warm day here in the Smokies. They have some music pumped in out here. This is the listening room venue. A lot of seats, you can come in here and eat before the shows start. And you have some Nashville singer songwriters up there. And probably some local ones from around here. Spacious guys, look at this. I think it's like 10 bucks or something to see these guys. I guess you go online and see they have a bar back there. Upstairs seating. Let's walk up there and see what that view would look like. Oh, this is nice up here. This would be a nice place to sit. Sounds amazing. Run by Bose. There's your mixing board. Bobby and I are going to have to come back here and watch a show sometime. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Okay, John, we get a lot of questions on the hat that you're wearing. Can you explain it to everyone? Yeah, it's one of the most frequent comments we have. That is a sickle on that. It's on about, I think I have four to five different hats with that on there and several shirts. It's from the Tennessee Wraith Chasers. They were a ghost hunting crew that had a, several shows on the Travel Channel. And one of them, the leader of them, his name's Chris. He designed the hat and their image and then the, the shirts that I wear, one with a big pumpkin on it and I have some other ones. He designed all that. We just like what it looks like. We've met them. Great guys. That's what it is, guys. Everybody always wants, I don't know why, but everybody always wants to know what this symbol is. But there you go. Appetizer has arrived. We got these sweet and spicy pickles. Look at those, those look nice. These are locally grown sweet pickles. Then they slice them up, hand batter them, and then throw them in the deep fryer. Then they have their homemade ranch. All right, let's tear into these. Nice and thin, light coat of breading on these. I'm gonna try them without the ranch first, but they're very hot says these are sweet and spicy. I don't get a lot of spice out of those. I do get a lot of this sweetness. I like it though. It's a different taste to it. Let me try this ranch. It's gonna give it that cool flavor. Now, I do like the creaminess of the ranch, but these pickles are very sweet. So the sweetness comes through on of these. That's the most thing I get out. I'm gonna have Bobby try them, but if, uh, you see the name sweet and spicy and you're afraid it's going to be too spicy for you? They're not. Take our word. Bobby's going to show you right now. All right. First thing I notice is that they're nice and thin. I like that. Um, it's coated, but not overly coated. 
very hot, like you said. I'm gonna dip mine just a little bit in this ranch. And they slice them up here, it says, when they get the oh, pickles I'll in. in. my mouth. <laughs> I do like the ranch, but I, I don't think you really need it because these are such good pickles. They are hot. I like how it's not, like I said, overly coated. That way you can get some of the sweetness from the pickle. I don't notice a lot of spiciness, maybe just a little bit of a hint at the end but more of a sweet flavor. Yeah, because you said they are hot. You were meaning by they're hot just coming out oh, of the yeah, kitchen, not, not spicy. Yeah, I'm getting, now that I'm just sitting here filming you, I can get a little bit of spice in the back just of my throat now, but not bit. much, it's but they sweetness. are. Yeah, they are very good. So if you like sweet pickles, you're gonna like these. Food has arrived. They told me to try this homemade potato salad with mustard. Look at that slice of bologna on this bologna sandwich. Smoked in house. But here's one of the main reasons we came to get this turkey apple crisp sandwich. It's gonna have smoked turkey breast on there, bacon on a toasted wheat berry bread, Granny Smith apples, Swiss cheese, and a dab of cranberry aioli. And Bobby, I can smell those Brussels sprouts. I like these cute little metal tubs they brought everything out in. It's really nice, easy cleanup, you know, with the paper and stuff in there. There you go. Look at that. It's grilled on both sides. Looks really nice. Oops, lost one of my apples. Nice and toasted on both ends. Nice golden brown. Yeah, there's the apples, some bacon. Turn it over on this side. You got your Swiss cheese, turkey, and it looks like ham in there. Ham's not listed, but that's what that is. But okay. let me just see that one more time. Look at all that lunch mm -hmm. meat on there. They and put a lot on there. Cranberry mayonnaise. You're gonna like that. Oh, there is cranberry. Let's see if we can see it. It might be on this side. Yeah, I think it's on this side because. I don't want to make make a mess with it. We'll just get in there. So I got a little surprise in mine because the menu does not say it has the ham in it, but it's one of the changes that they're doing. I think it's a good change. Um, so I got the sweetness, a little bit of the Swiss cheese, the tartness of the apple, and that crunch with the bacon. I mean, the smoke flavor of the turkey and ham. This is nice and buttery. I mean, I got a lot of flavors going on there. Now that's wheat berry bread. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, uh, so it's more of a chewy bread. And I like the uh, cranberry mayonnaise they put on there. I wonder it's if just, you could taste that in there, yes. the cranberry mayonnaise. This is an excellent sandwich. All right, I want to see if I can entice John with these Brussels sprouts because look, John, there's plenty of bacon no, on there. Not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't even like what they smell like. <laughs> Oh, I, I like them. They're really good for you. Everybody who watches this channel knows I don't eat anything that's good for me. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now, I like these. Um, I think you have to have that, acquire that taste. They remind me of like, just what cabbage tastes like, you know? A um, little bit of the bacon grease over top of them. I like them. So, John, I think you should try them. Not gonna happen. <laughs> also wanted to show if I put those both together, that's a nice size sandwich, isn't it? Very big sandwich. All right, guys, let's break this sandwich down, but look at that slice of bologna smoked here. Let's take the top off. You see where they grilled it? Got some red onions, there's some mayonnaise, Dijon mustard on here, tomato and lettuce. Pretty good size piece of Texas toast on there. All right, I'm going right in the center, but again, they didn't skimp on the size of the cut of that bologna. It's a very good bologna sandwich. There's the outside of it. First bite into that, you can taste the mustard that is on there. But you know what I like about the fried bologna sandwich though? When you put that in the skillet, it just brings all that fat out and it caramelizes it and it smells great too when it's cooking. 
but it gives it more of a sweetness flavor too, but you can taste the smoke in that. So this has a lot of flavors going on with the, you know, you have the grilled bologna, then you have this cold piece of onion and tomato, which makes a distinct taste to it because you have it hot and cold, but then that toast is nice and crispy, which is very good, guys. So if you've never tried fried bologna, try it because it's a completely different flavor than regular bologna. Some people think it tastes almost like a grilled hot dog because that's mm -hmm. kind of what it is. But When we were growing up, we always called it poor man's steak yeah. when we fried it. That looks like a steak. Mm -hmm. But this has the mayonnaise and the mustard on it, but I taste the mustard more than anything. But it's a very good bologna sandwich. And the smoke comes through on that. But not an abundance of smoke, but just enough smoke. And the sweetness, like I said, when you're frying it, brings a little bit of sweetness to the top of that bologna. Try this mustard-based potato salad. There you go. That's some good potato salad. It doesn't have a strong vinegar taste to it. It's nice and creamy. Potatoes are done well. They're not hard. It's cold, hadn't been sitting around. That's a main thing. You don't want potato salad that's warm. There's the size of it. Very good. Homemade here. I'm glad I picked that. I know some of you like Brussels sprouts, so I'm going to share a bite with you. I'm going to try this sandwich. I know Josh and Stacy said one of the best sandwiches they ever had, and Bobby's loving it. And I think the idea of the apples on there is really going to bring the flavor out. Here we go. Right, so the first thing that shines through is that apple. That's the missing piece on a ham and turkey sandwich. They put that on there. And this bread, this wheat, it's kind of chewy. You can really taste that when you're eating this sandwich. Sometimes you, the bread gets lost in the sandwich, but it doesn't in this. But the apple, I know it's Granny Smith, it's green. Sometimes there's sour and tart. I don't get a lot from that. Get a little, maybe a little bit of the sweetness from the Swiss cheese, but Bobby, that is very good. It's hard to describe that sandwich. Take a piece of the apple off and show them how thin it is. Right you got a bigger piece there, you can show them. And that's a piece I bit into. Yeah. All right. Somehow nice and thin. It's really thin. Yeah, and the bacon. It's nice. It's just one more look at it. Here's our receipt from the listening room. Bobby got a Coke for $2. We had sweet and spicy pickles for 7 The famous turkey apple crisp, their number one seller, 15 Smoked bologna sandwich, $13. A grand total of $41.19. And if you enjoy this place, you can take home some merch, some different color shirts, a few different hats. Oh, they have some sweet and spicy pickles in there. There's Alabama white barbecue sauce, dry rub, gold barbecue sauce, some more items up here, and look at these shirts. That's different. Anything on the back of those? Yep, right there. All right. Hey guys, this is Chris Blair. I'm the owner of The Listening Room here in Pigeon Forge. The thing that makes The Listening Room unique is you're not gonna hear a cover band. You may think that you do because you're hearing a song that you know on the radio, but it's original music that that person that's singing it wrote. That's our only rule. So it's a very unique behind the scenes kind of experience while you're enjoying great food and drinks. We offer all kinds of great things here at the listening room. We've got a full bar, happy hour, and we've got this main area that seats about 250 people. We also have a VIP balcony area that seats another 50 people. We also have the front patio and the front bar area. So whether you're a couple that's coming into town, checking out what Pigeon Forge and the Mountain Mile has to offer, or you're someone that's looking for a 250 to 300 person venue to take over and have a party of your own, we've got it. The listening room is such a unique place that you never know who's gonna show up. That's what makes it so special. You just gotta check it out. Well, we just left the listening room cafe here at the Mountain Mile in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. What did you think about it? First, I wanna give a shout out to our waitress, Tabitha. She did an excellent job. And this area up here is so pretty, isn't it? I it mean, there's is. There's so much to do up here. But make sure if you come up in this area to check them out. Such a friendly staff. Just a nice, different atmosphere. There goes somebody. Flying right over <laughs> Flying. our heads. Um, we first started out with the pickle appetizer. 
I like how it was lightly coated. And now it said it was a little bit spicy and sweet. I got more of the sweet flavor than the spicy. They were very good. Now the sandwich I had was a wheat berry, so that's a little bit of a more chewier bread. And healthier. Yeah, and healthier. And uh, you had the ham and the bacon and the Swiss cheese. The apple was nice and thin. All those flavors going on together. Excellent choice. And uh, the Brussels sprouts, I couldn't get John to try them, but they were very good. You guys saw me try Bobby's sandwich, I had to. That's one that's been featured in a magazine. It's the top seller here. We asked what the top sellers were, and it's what we got. Those were the three top sellers. They were all very good. Agree with Bobby about the pickles. Says spicy, not overly spicy, but how about that bologna sandwich? You see how thick that was? Had a nice smoky flavor to it. It was done well. The mustard came through on that, the Texas toast. It was definitely worth getting, guys. I mean, everything about this place, the staff was friendly. I like the modern look of it. Going into that music venue would be nice at night. I think it's $10 to get in. You can go in there and eat and enjoy some singers and songwriters. So a good place to come to spend an evening or for a date if you're local here. Just something different to do in Pigeon Forge besides just going out and getting a meal. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. building.